What's up guys? So as you saw last night, we got the cabinets in. Um, and tonight, or today, um, we're gonna be building a drawer for our new Dometic. We have the same one in the uh, truck camper. We're gonna put the same one in here. It's the CFX 355IM. Um, we're gonna be building a drawer in there, but that's another video. But we're gonna build a drawer between that gap. I don't know if you showed them that yesterday, did yeah. you? Yeah. Um, between the two of them, there's a gap. We're gonna be building a little slide for it. It's gonna be going this way, sideways. So it's 20, almost 26 inches without the handles to here. And our, our hole is 27. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna undermount these vertical slides right here. It's gonna be sitting on a platform practically, sliding in and out. And we're gonna lock it in place with a little latch thing. So we're trying to build this before we go do some things we have to do today. So we're gonna build this, shouldn't take too long, and we'll stain it and all that another time. So we'll paint it, whatever we're doing with it. So just follow along and make sure you, a thumbs up video, make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell um, stay tuned. The hole we left is 27 and this is about 26. It's gonna be a tight fit with the with these, with um, the slides. So I'm actually gonna, or we're actually gonna, this, is, this side gets mounted to the wall. This side gets mounted to here. We're gonna build it so, and the plywood's gonna sit on top. So we're building a platform for it to sit on top. Since it's such a tight squeeze, we're gonna build a platform on top. Um, I'm hoping it works. Sounds like it's gonna work. It sounds like it's gonna be a, a drawer, but instead of the drawer being a thing it sits in, it's gonna sit on top and it'll have a front and a back um, plate to, I guess, keep it from moving front and back because that's all that matters. It has an extra six inches behind it because it's 18 inches wide and the cabinet is 24 wide. So it does have an extra six inches to move. So we will have a front and back base to make sure it doesn't move back and forth, but side to side it only has less than an inch to move. And I'll put some, uh, like something in there to keep it from moving and I'll show you guys that when we get there. All right, so I'm standing on the wood. It was off the table. We were off by like an inch measurement. I don't know how. All right, so we have this on our bottom piece. This is gonna be down here, like so. And this is gonna, and the other one's gonna be on the other side. And we're actually gonna mount the plywood to the top because as you see once I put these both down they don't, yeah. once I put these both down oh it actually goes the other way they'll slide out towards us right well you have to account wherever the tape measure is in my pocket this now gap that was 27 is now only 24 so our piece of wood is gonna sit from here to here, which is 26, and the fridge is 20, um, well it's actually gonna be 26 and a half, so it's gonna sit over a little bit. But the piece of wood, um, or the, the fridge, fridge is 25, nine. So it's gonna sit on our 26 and a half foot piece that's gonna sit on top of this. So I'm gonna, we're gonna screw these into the wall, so they slide. They're gonna be sliding out, as like, I can't really hold it and do it, but <laughs> you get the idea. They're gonna be sliding out. All right, I'm drenched, don't mind me, but it's not screwed in yet, but this is basically how it's gonna work. And the fridge is gonna sit on top. And we're gonna put a front plate on here so you can't see under it. Just right through the front, we'll glue it on, and we're gonna put a front plate on the top and a front plate on the, the back to hold it in. Sweet! There it is. And we have a little latch we'll put here to lock it in place. All right, so we're just taking the handles off so that it will fit in there better. I don't know if you can tell from here, but we put the lip on. We'll show you when we get back over there. So that's with the little lip on it. So the fridge, we're bringing over. Probably like 40 pounds, but it's gonna go in there. Gotta get around with the obstacle course. <laughs> All 
All right, guys, we got it in. You just need the base plate on the back, how this one is. But it's exactly what we expected. And I mean, it's holding it pretty well. That's 46 pounds, it holds 100. But it's so close to the ground. See how it slides back like that? We're gonna prevent it from doing that, obviously. So it's nice and tight. It will shift back and forth during travel. Uh, but it won't be able to move front back. It won't back be able to move front back at all. We're gonna la put a latch right here, which we're gonna do right now, and then we'll show you guys the finished product practically. There. What's up guys? Back at it again. Grayson here. Um, we're at the it's the next day here after we did that slide in the cargo, cargo trailer. trailer. And the only reason why it's the next day is that it rains here in Florida. So today it's 1230 and we have like until we started four, at, hopefully. We started at like eleven ish after we got back from the store, something like that. We only have till four to work on our so we have five hours opposed to having like, oh we'll go to the gym and then do this after. So here we are doing the truck campers slide for the fridge, which I'm sitting on. Same fridge, um, but so this is what we did so far. We kind of framed it out, put a little backer board on there. This is the propane line that I have to cap still. I moved the outlet that was here down here. The 110 was on the wall, I moved it to the floor. And this fridge runs off the battery. So here's our cigarette lighter, which I will also mount. If I can untangle it to the wall, or to this wall, wherever it's out of the way. Um, so now we're going to make a drawer system for this. What's hard is that under here, the framing is like, obviously what I frame is like one by twos or whatever you want to call them. The framing's kind of meh. It's kind of heavy. So yeah, this is going to be fun, I think, because we're also going to stick a little, I think a little border around here or something as well to finish it off. Um, but I'm not sure because we could always just stick a corner piece on here and call it a day. We're not, and we also, I think that we're going to side mount it a little bit more to this side. Oh, offset it, yeah, yeah. Offset it so that um, we, we can have space here. over here. Because this is all like the our, stuff that came out of there. Yeah, that was all in there before. But obviously, we did lose a little bit of space because all the wires are back here. And there was another, like, half an inch or an inch on both sides. So we did, like, lose some space. But obviously, we wanted to, like, clean it up a little bit. And then it's going to be painted in there. Um, but, yeah, so we'll take you along. We'll show you what we do today with this. All right, 312, long time. We had a lot of trials and tribulations here. First of all, we didn't have enough wood. So we kind of made shifts, make shifts some stuff. Two pieces of the same wood. One was this much left, one was this much. We made a whole little frame for it. Um, we put a latch on it. Um, let me explain everything that was going on. So first of all, I mounted on these rails. And then I mounted the, it has to be a sit on top again because we didn't have enough room for the sit inside. So I did a sit on top and when I mounted the platform, I bent one of the rails a little bit so then it wasn't sliding right. So then I fixed that and then I accidentally pushed this one in so this one was bent. And I couldn't see it all happening from up top when I was below obviously. This piece of wood, as you can tell, it's not even, I gotta like, I'm gonna use an angle grinder and grind it down or sand it and down. And we're still putting a lip on and it. And we're still putting a little lip kind of like uh, these. This all needs to be sanded down here. This needs to be sanded down as when you buy wood, I guess they don't make it straight anymore. Like a piece of wood I feel like used to be straight. Yeah, look They're at this. They're all like curved. It starts like flush with the wall and then as it gets like lower down, it comes further and further off and the it, wall. And we, and we made sure to make sure it was like level and all that. So before you comment, oh, like I work in construction or blah, blah. We had to make sure the drawer can slide because this isn't even cut properly because the wood, the straight edge isn't straight. So, we mapped it all as best as we could. We have a little lock right here that actually works. Um, and it's actually pretty tough, surprisingly, that two, only two screws are in it. This has to be sanded down here, so when I slide it out, it slides all the way out, but it's a little bit, like, step back and show them this. It's a little bit iffy. It slides all the way out. No, not anymore, we fixed it, look. It was super iffy. We had one point where it would slide out, but only this much, because it was putting weight on it weird. The screws that came with the drawer system suck. Don't ever use these. They're not rated for anywhere near 100 pounds. We use these monsters, uh, one and a quarter inch like framing screws. They work great. Um, so now it slides, I think that's all the way, right? Yeah, all the way out, 20 inch slide. Um, and it actually is gonna probably sit about right there. So we got it almost all the way out, pretty sweet. Close it and bam, then lock it back in. Everything's kind of crooked in here because this entire cabinet is kind of crooked to start. As you see, like this one starts here, then curves that way. This one starts here, and then curves that way. And I don't know if we already told you, but on the outside, 
Come this, on, we propanos. just yeah we just put this in on the outside there's like a bunch of wires and stuff so we kind of just covered them up and put this in here um, so yeah it to works cover everything yeah it definitely is gonna work well we now have new storage here um pretty cool pretty deep we never had this before and we'll probably build some kind of shelf or something up inside. there to add extra storage yeah inside of it only because ashley pointed out that since it only pulls out 20 inches and it's 25 long about five inches of it still stays in there so we have to build it five inches in offset because otherwise we won't, the, the door won't, won't be open. able to open all the way so we'll do that most likely not sure when this is all gonna be painted and finished but yesterday's cabinet took what an hour to build Oh, about a little, more, but about yeah. an hour the drawer about an hour total this one probably took two and a half two two and a half because i kept on unscrew screw unscrew screw unscrew screw recut this blah, blah, blah. so now i'm gonna put a face on here so we're safe when we're driving um and i mean it's heavy it's not going anywhere side to side we, we weighed it we thought it weighed over 100 pounds and we thought that's why it was bending the rails down this way but it actually was only what 73 78, 78 pounds um so if you're anywhere near the load rating within the 75% of it or 50% of it, I wouldn't even use their hardware. I'd get my own hardware. Um, but it's in here good now. It's not going anywhere. Happy with how it looks. It definitely looks better. Ashley's going to put a picture of what the fridge looked like before here. But I mean, not the fridge I was in here, but this fridge once we put it in here. Um, not. All right, guys. Well, I'm cutting my hair off. <laughs> Ashley's laughing. I usually have a hat on, obviously, or my hair is slicked back. Um, so I'm just going to hide it. I can't stop looking at myself. I'm sorry, guys. Make sure you... Thank you for watching. Make sure you thumbs up the video. Make sure you're subbed. And let us know if you like it. This costs us a lot. The hair? No, not the hair, baby. <laughs> Let us know if you like the slide and if you're going to do it for yourself, if you have a Dometic fridge, because it will save you a lot of money. We literally spent 10 times less doing this. She's still laughing. So make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell. See you guys in the next one. Stay tuned.